Hi everybody, in today's video we're looking at Photoshop's new feature, Neural Filters. Uh, it is aimed specifically towards portraits where you can make some funky Instagram looking edits and filter things. Uh, so for today's, today's example I have two wonderful people to test it out on. And let's start off with her. Go to Filter, Neural Filters. The little blue box says, hey, I found a face. Go down to this little laboratory. I don't know what these things are called, but whatever. Um, turn on Smart Portrait. And then on the right here, you'll see all the options. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll just go through these one by one and see how they go. So right here, I have the model in just kind of a very neutral front facing look. Let's see what we can do with happiness. Let's go up to 25. And as you see right here, uh, it's processing, it's sending this crap out to their servers and being analyzed by a bunch of scientists. I, I, actually, I don't know. It's being looked at in the cloud. It takes a little bit longer, hopefully in production stages that they can get this um, actually process on the computer itself. So there it goes. Um, that is her with half happiness because I, oh, I know that this scale goes from zero to 50. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. That's what it's guessing. That's what her teeth look like. Let's make it twice as, let's go all the way up, up to 50. Okay, so smile's kind of lopsided, but that's what they think it is. Hair still looks good. Let's undo that. Reset. Um, let's do surprise. We'll go to 25 so that she's half surprised. Okay, that I don't know what that is, but it <laughs> doesn't look good. Kind of looks like she has braces on. Let's go to 50. All right, um, now it looks like she has piranha teeth, which she does not have. Let's turn that off. Anger. Let's go to 25. Looks kind of like surprised. Let's go 50. It's kind of weird that they lowered this eyebrow, but not this one. And back to the, I, I don't know if those are piranha teeth. Let's turn this off. That's scaring me. Facial age. All right, let's uh, age her. I noticed that they modified her hair a little bit as well. The hair detail looks pretty good, actually. Let's go to 50. All right, it's actually a pretty good render. Um, it's kind of odd on the neckline right here that there's such a, a straight cutoff of the sagging skin. Um, but as far as the details, this looks pretty good and. I don't know. We'll just have to see <laughs> as she ages if this is pretty accurate. All right, let's turn that off. Okay, gaze, eye direction. So her eye is supposed to be going to her left. But I'm sorry, going to the screen right. The actual eyeball direction of this of her left is different from this one. All right, let's see if we go in all the way to 50, if it corrects it. Hmm, a little bit better. The direction is still off. This one is angled more, more to her left versus this one. But the actual cleanliness of the eyeball shape and the color still being retained on this one looks pretty good. All right, let's undo that. Hair thickness. This will be interesting since she has a uh, non-symmetrical hair. Let's see what it does at 25. Okay, so it kind of adds volume, but there was another effect where it kind of changed her hair like this. I think it was the angry one. Uh, let's see what happens when you go to 50. Okay, just a little bit thicker. Let's go all the way back to negative 50, see what that looks like. 
All right. That's a negative 50 here. I see some odd pixelation right here on the on the right. It's actually not pixelation. It's actually like ghosting. I can still see some strands from the actual first image right around here. Lots of discoloring from this negative space to where her hair was. And the big obvious cutout is this right here. Let's reset that. Head direction. Let's go to 25. See how much it changes her head direction. Okay, has her slightly looking to her left. Let's go even more, more of a turn. <laughs> it's not really making her head look a little bit different. It's kind of just shifting her whole face. Um, let's go back to back. It shifts her face and it adds a little bit more cheek to her right side. Pretty interesting. The most interesting part of this is the manufactured ear. Uh, you can see on the outer edge uh, the the brighter part, I'm going to guess, is her actual ear. Yeah. So pretty neat stuff. Uh, let's try the other model. Actually, I don't want to monkey with these light direction, kind of boring. Um, let's try the other model. Oh, I got to hit cancel. Boop. Also, starting off with a very neutral face, go to filter, neural filters. Okay, so we have the blue bounding box here again saying, hey, look, I found someone's face. Let's try to make this fellow happier. Let's go to value 25. All right, so a slight smile. Kind of a nervous smile, like uh, I think I want to rob this bank. Or, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't pay my parking ticket. Here you go. All right, that looks a lot better. So it's pretty neat. They're using AI to guess his teeth. Um, that actually looks pretty good. All right, let's undo that. That was happy. Let's go to half surprised. Actually, that, that does look pretty surprising. <laughs> All right, let's go to 50. Wow, totally surprised. All right, looks pretty good. The detail looks, looks pretty damn good. Um, the teeth shape are a little odd. Some odd black crap around the fictitious tongue. Let's undo that. Let's go to angry. All right, let's do half angry. That looks kind of surprised. Let's go to 50. <laughs> it's uh, slightly angry and kind of surprised at the same time. Um, his right eye looks a little bit, I don't know, completely different. Let's undo that. Let's go back to back. Yeah, that's strange. All right, let's um, make this fellow a little bit older. Okay, as you can see, this was mostly done in the color of the hair on his head, facial hair. Um, the blending looks pretty good, actually, from his mustache all the way down to his, his goatee beard area. All right, let's take it up a notch. Let's go even older. So they actually thinned the beard. There's some discoloration right here that they kind of omitted. Uh, thinner hair and added some pretty good looking wrinkles right here. And the hair appears to be thinner as well. And it looks like there's some ghosting as to where it was right here at the top. Let's undo that. Let's make him look a different direction. That looks pretty good. I noticed the color of his eyes changed a little bit as well. Let's make him look even further. Okay, still looks pretty good. Let's undo that. Hair thickness. Let's add some. Let's go all the way. <laughs> all right, that's pretty cool. Uh, I noticed they retained the shape quite a bit of his original sh head shape or hair shape. Um, and kind of made it taller. Let's uh, get rid of it. Let's get rid of some. Negative hair thickness. Oh, wow. So basically he's got a haircut. 
Interesting. All right, let's go back to normal. And then head direction. Let's have him look another direction. Okay, pretty interesting. I noticed that his hair was changed as well. We didn't ask for that. Um, for this particular one, it looks like more of it's just a, a face shift versus an actual head change uh, direction. Looking at the direction of his chin. Let's go even further. Okay, so this one kind of just moved his whole head. And you can see the ghostiness to where it was. Probably not the best impl implementation, but the good thing about this, this is just, uh, this is all beta right now. Um, so these are the big functions that a lot of people are looking at when it comes to the new neural filters is smart portrait stuff. Um, it's kind of interesting to see that Adobe rolled this out into, into Photoshop, which is their more professional suite or application for photo editing. You would suspect this would be in Photoshop Elements. Um, actually, it might be, I don't know. Um, I don't use Elements. If it is, uh, please let me know. But it's pretty interesting that they put this in here. And it's uh, still remarked as beta, so it'll be interesting to see how this uh, application grows. Um, maybe it'll get more accurate, maybe it'll add more crop to it, who knows, but pretty neat to see. Alright, so let me know in the comments what you guys think, or if you guys played with it or not. And that's pretty much it. So at this time, I'd like to say thank you to all my computer technology friends for subscribing to my channel. You are appreciated. Thank you. Talk to you all soon. Bye. Okay, go back to uh, content face right there. And then dark, look, look left hard, but don't move here. There you go. And then look right hard as well. Do a quarter chin turn to your left. Nope. Bullshit. Ch chin. Yeah, just like that. Just up uh, here. Yep. And then go back straight. What are you doing? You're just gonna face me, give me a blank stare. <laughs> there you go, very good. Slight smile. Bigger smile. <laughs> Okay, and then quarter head turn to your left. Oh. A little bit less. I'm sorry, uh, quarter, eighth turn, there you go. Okay, quarter turn, a little bit more. Okay, eighth turn to your right. Quarter turn, a little bit more. Okay, look, look, look straight at me. Uh, plain face, and then dark, uh, sorry, sorry, look all the way left. With Look. Eyes. There you go. And then to the right. That's all I needed. That's fun. Thank you.